Hello everyone. In the previous session we had seen difference between .exe and .dll. Uh, this is the same project. Uh, I think you had seen this. Uh, so in the output folder we having .exe and .dll. Okay. And now uh, in this session we will understand the strong name assembly. That is here. You can see this is strong name assembly. We need to understand this. And I think we had we did it, but uh, we need to uh, simulate this in Visual Studio. So earlier we having only the C# -sharp code that we are having here, the C# -sharp code. But now with the help of the strong name assembly, we need something called as key pair. And how can I get this key pair? Is with the help of sn.exe, right? So uh, we will generate this key pair. We go to uh, Visual Studio, command prompt. I go to run as administrator, and then I will take sn.exe and then dash k for key generation and then I will then I just need to give a path where this key can saved so I give my c colon dash dash my key pair one dot snk you can give any name here okay this is just I had given it and the extension should be dot snk that is strong name key okay dot snk this is going to save uh, this particular e, uh, SNK strong name key pair inside the C drive. So if I hit enter here, uh, you can see key pair return to this location. So if I go to my C drive here, you can see I already have. So you can see my key pair one one dot SNK. This is my key pair. So now I need to add this key key pair inside the C sharp code. You can see. Right now, what is the situation is your C sharp code is another way and your key pair is on another location. We need to embed this both thing. We need to add this both thing. So how can I do this is with the help of uh, by going to the class library one, go to properties and you are having something called as assembly info.cs. Double click and add the path here in this location. So if I give uh, assembly colon assembly key file and just make a path here my key pair one dot snk and close it so this is now uh, earlier this class library one your dll is a weak name weak name assembly but now because of this key pair your class library one is going to be strong name assembly and we can see from here so now this is c sharp code plus key pair so you add everything and now if you run this it will give you the exe and hash code okay okay so this is going to be strong name assembly so if i build my solution uh, this console uh, let's verify this that this application is running or not so I go to my program.cs and uh, is it working or not so it's working completely very fine now I need to save this DLL inside my you know GAC folder and we had discussed that thing here in this GAC this is global assembly cache and specifically in this location I need to save my class library one so what I can do here is as this assembly is strong name assembly I can specifically you know save uh, my assembly inside the gag folder otherwise I cannot and uh, we explicitly had had did this uh, so I can save it easily so what kind of tool I can use I can use gag util.exe so I have my visual studio command prompt ready so I will first of all let me go to the class library one open folders in Windows Explorer go to bin debug and I just copy this actually I have a problem here save from this location is because uh, of this uh, this path this path having some problem so I just I just copy this uh, it's okay if you if you don't want to do that but I just in, in case of this time constraint thing I just copy inside my sample folder okay so I have here and this I say I, I copy this path and I go to my command prompt and I will add now gag util I'm sorry gag util gag util dot exe dash i for installation where inside the gag folder but how it needs 
where exactly your DLL file resides. So I had copied that path, I paste it, C users, desktop sample, and then I just call my class library one dot DLL. And if I hit enter, you can see assembly added to the cache. So if I just in case to uh, just in case uh, uh, to verify the things, I go to my GAC MSL folder and the same location. Uh, this location, okay. And you can see here class library one, and this DLL is saved now, okay. So uh, you saved successfully the your DLL inside the GAC library. Uh, now we will experiment something. Now if I let's say if I go to this location, open folders in Windows Explorer, and uh, I go to my console application, bin, debug, and I copy this DLL and .exe file somehow. And I, if I paste this inside this location, replace the file in the destination. Let's replace this. Now, what happening? What exactly happened if I, you know, uh, this DLL is residing inside this console application because you add ref referenced it. So if I somehow copy it and I just paste it here. And now in this sample, in this folder actually, there is only console application. So if I double click here, what will happen? You can see it's still working. Okay. Instead, you, in spite of deleting or uh, just uh, cutting this uh, DLL file to other location, this application is still running. And why is that? Because you installed or you saved this DLL inside the GAC folder. This is the thing. And that's why this console application one.exe goes to the GAC folder and take the source or take the method and it is fetches from there and it is running. So this is the advantage the .NET framework gives you. I hope you understand strong name assembly in a good manner. Thank you so much.